guys, good morning. Today is the day that I'm actually leaving to go meet up with the exploring crew. We are going on a reunion, uh, kind of a reunion tour to Malaysia, Japan, and the Philippines for the next two to three months. And I'm actually flying out today. So I figured before I pack up all this gear, why not show you what I take with me while I travel and everything that I have to lug around in order to get the vlogs that you see here on my channel. I also want to mention that everything you're about to see, all the gear, is linked down below if you want to check it out or if you have any questions about a specific item. So as many of you may know, I recently purchased the Sony a7S Mark II. And I really liked that camera before because Josh and Steve were using it and it has amazing low light capabilities. It's still an amazing camera, but when I was out there filming with my friends Sawyer and Rob and Lyric, they were all carrying this one camera, which I loved. I love the way that this camera shot and the way that it looked so much better than my a7s that I actually returned that camera in exchange for this camera. So this is the Canon 1DX Mark II. It is a much heavier and much more pricey investment but this is the camera that has been getting the shots that I constantly love time and time again. All the shots from Hawaii, California, New Mexico were all shot, not all shot, but all the cinematic shots were shot from this and a lot of the pictures were taken from this as well. The reason I wanted this as well is because the a7S was not as great at taking pictures and this is kind of like an all-in-one camera. Other than the weight of this camera, it is very nice, so I picked up a smaller vlogging camera as well, which I'll get to in a second. But first, I wanted to talk about the lens that I picked up with this. It is the 16 to 35 millimeter lens, f2.8 L series, third generation. That's a lot, that's a mouthful. So basically, it's a wide angle lens that is very sharp, and it's the newest one they have out right now. So while I'm traveling, the wide angle lens is great for epic landscapes, but it's not always perfect for close-ups or for uh, things far away. So I already have this. It's a Tamron 24-70 uh, f2.8 uh, lens, which allows me to zoom in a little bit farther than the 16-35 would allow me to do. So if there's things that are a little bit farther away, I will pop on this lens and be able to get that shot. And this is the Canon 50mm 1.4. This is great for those shallow depth of field shots, the bokeh or bokeh, whatever you want to call it. It is great for those nice close-up shots and uh, I'm going to be trying out a lot more of that on this trip. So because the Canon 1DX is about 10 pounds and it's a lot to carry and lug around filming myself like that, I picked up this, the Canon M5. I really like this camera. I, uh, I've seen Sawyer using it and he seems to love it as well. It is a flip out screen camera. It's like a mini DSLR pretty much, but it is a crop factor. So I picked up an 11 to 22 millimeter lens, which will give me a nice wide angle while I'm vlogging. I'm really excited for this lens because it has great autofocus. It even takes pretty good pictures on itself. And it's just kind of like a step up from the standard point and shoot cameras. And uh, I'm really excited to try this out over the next two to three months really. So you know a lot of my vlogs start off with really nice drone sequences. I'm using the DJI Phantom 4. There is a Phantom 4 Pro out right now, but it is a lot more money when I already have this nice camera that already shoots 4K. So I'm sticking with the Phantom 4 as of right now. I love it. I love the quality of the shots that it produces. Um, I do like the size of the Mavic, however the quality is just not as good. It's a little bit of a more of a burden to carry this camera around, especially in my backpack, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, I just love the quality of this shot, and to me, quality is top. Along with that, I carry two extra batteries, so I have a total of three batteries because a lot of times I will be filming multiple scenes in a day while I'm traveling, so I need a couple extra batteries for extra flight time. So that covers the aerial shots, but now what if I'm trying to go underwater or I'm trying to do some cool action shots? I have the GoPro. This is the Hero 4 Black Edition. It's not the newest 5 one, but I love the quality that this produces already. So right now I'm sticking with the Hero 4 Black. And I mostly just put it in my mouth and use it as a mouth mount for a point of view. So I'm probably just going to stick with that. But I do have a grip mount, so I can pretty much grip this onto anything. I can put it on a taxi, I can put it on a boat, many things. So uh, between the two of these mounts, I think I'm going to cover everything I need for the GoPro. As many of you know, I like to vlog with like a stick or a selfie stick holding out like this or put the camera down sometimes and talk to the camera, give a little intro of where I am a lot of times for my abandoned videos. So for that, I carry this Manfrotto tripod. 
Now, I don't know the uh, exact brand of this, but I will have the link down below with all the other links for everything else. So you can uh, check this tripod out if you like. It's very nice and travel size. You can see it's small. It has this nice little grip that allows you to uh, easily move it around. And it gets pretty tall. It gets to about this tall. So uh, I love this for selfie stick vlogs or for putting it down on a tripod to have a nice steady picture, whatever it may be. This one is a little Gorillapod tripod, or a Joby, and it is for the, uh, the Canon M5, the small vlogging camera, because that one is kind of overkill. <laughs> And for better audio on my vlogging camera, especially during those windy days, I have the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is probably my favorite microphone I've ever used. I've used a couple of the other ones, the Sennheiser, but uh, Rode just delivers the best audio, I think, so I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, to edit all of my vlogs that you see every day or every other day, I'm using the MacBook Pro 2012 Retina. It is a 15-inch, and the specs are all maxed out, so it can go pretty much as fast as I need it to, although it is getting a little bit old now that it's 2017, but I still love this thing so much, and this is what I travel and carry with me all the time. Now imagine you're in a tropical country and you're trying to fly the drone, but it's a really sunny day and you can't see your phone screen. I have this uh, iPad mini, which I use for a nice, better, bigger view of what I'm trying to fly so that I don't crash into a tree. Uh, I have used a phone before, but I just find that carrying a little iPad mini is so much more uh, beneficial and easy if you can. And to back up all this footage, I carry two hard drives, a two terabyte and a one terabyte right now. Uh, I may need to pick up another one while I'm on this trip because it will be a very long trip, but that's what I'm taking with me to start off. So, the backpack that I was referring to that I really love is the Manfrotto D1 backpack. I know a lot of other people have used this backpack. It's because it really is the best backpack for a drone, I find. Um, it is a drone backpack, so you can carry a drone right there. You can carry a camera and lenses. I carry my 1DX in here with an extra lens. I carry hard drives here, extra drone batteries, extra blades, and it can even carry a laptop and an iPad right in this side compartment. On the top, it also has a spot for the uh, drone controller. The one thing I found about this backpack though is that it does not have a little slot for your tripod. Every other camera bag that I've found it had a, like a, a spot where you could put your tripod on the side. So uh, I had to make it because this one didn't come with it. So I have a little bungee here. I just like threaded this bungee through so I can attach my tripod to the side when I want when I'm traveling. And uh, that was pretty much the only concern I had with this backpack. It just didn't have a tripod thing. So I made one and now it seems to be the perfect backpack. So now for those times when you're traveling on the go and you're maybe editing for 16 hours on a plane like I'm about to do, and uh, you need more power, I have this. I picked this up. Actually, I, I funded this on Kickstarter. I donated and I got this. It's called an OmniCharge. And what it does is it allows you to plug in a laptop or charge batteries or anything with a USB and it will charge it a lot. It has like 20,000 milliamps, which is a lot for charging. So I'll be able to charge my laptop the whole plane ride if I want to keep editing videos. On the lighter side, I carry the small portable charger. It is for phones and whatnot, just on the go because everyone knows phones die so quick. So a couple of uh, small accessories that you might have not even thought about that you might want to pick up for your next travel adventure is a, uh, a worldwide adapter. This will allow me to plug in my power strip into any adapter, or any kind of uh, outlet in the world, whether it be England, whether it be Philippines, Japan, any kind of outlet, I will be able to charge with this one. It has a couple of different attachments that go on it, and it's pretty great. And to upload my footage to my computer, I have this card reader. It covers like all the different cards, other than my new one, which I had to get a separate card reader for, but that's a whole other story. The worst part about traveling is the fear of losing your luggage and the fear of losing your backpacks or anything like that. So I picked up a couple of these things. They're called tiles, and they're, they're really small, as you can see, and they have like a little keychain hook. You can put these on your keychains and your backpacks, your suitcase, whatever. It's basically just a small GPS that you can track with your phone. So I'm gonna throw one of these in my backpack, one on my keys, and one on my uh, suitcase. And the last thing that I need is pretty much my passport. I can't leave the country without this, and uh, it's really the most important thing when I'm trying to go travel and uh, experience new places. So I hope this has helped you guys wondering what kind of gear I travel with, what I use to make these vlogs and take my pictures as I do. This is pretty much all the gear I take whenever I go traveling, and it's the gear that I love to use as of right now. As I mentioned before, I'll have all the links down below for all this gear if you have any more questions about it. Also, feel free to message me on Twitter if you have any questions about a specific 
piece of item or leave a comment down below and I'll try and read as many of it as I can and get back to you on any specific item that you had a question about. Uh, I'm gonna go pack all this stuff up right now because I'm actually leaving for a flight tonight and I have to go very, very soon. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and I'll see you guys tomorrow.